UF Pro, uh, a brand out of Slovenia, I think off the top of my head, are a clothing company that don't get really a lot of exposure considering the designs they do, uh, considering the quality of what they put out. As it happens, I happen to have the first gen of their Striker Combat shirt here, along with the more recent second gen that came out sometime this year, uh, about the middle of this year, if I recall. I wanted to take a look over them now uh, while I've got them both to hand. I may have eaten one or two, too many pies, and the small here doesn't fit me anymore, so I picked up a medium. But less said about that, the better. Now, only difference right now, if they look like they're hanging differently, is that the padding that's in the shoulders is in the Gen 2 here at the moment, and I've taken it out of the Gen 1. Personally, design materials-wise, for a non-military application combat shirt, this is probably my favorite on the market. Uh, bar none really um, and I've tried a lot so I don't say that too lightly a lot of that is down to the fact that the center torso fabric is literally the exact same as a British military issued t-shirt uh, some of you out there who are serving may hate those things personally I absolutely love them I find them really comfortable they're light they're breathable and they, they wick away sweat at a an amazingly quick rate they dry super fast so I, I'm a big fan of this fabric so features wise the Gen 1 was pretty good. I think on balance, the Gen 2 works out about similar, a slight improvement overall. Gen 1, same arm pockets as the 2. On the 2, they've added, and this is one of the things I don't like, I'll say, I'll get this out of the way early. They've added basically PAL spec or closer PAL spec uh, attachment points. It's not webbing because it's just Nyko, um, but they've added that onto the sleeve, the forearm sleeve pocket on both sides because UF Pro do. It's, it's like an arm board, it's a, it's a pouch that attaches to the combat shirt sleeve instead of being one of those that straps around your arm and you Velcro it open, zip it open, whatever. And there's a transparency you can put in uh, smartphones, maps, whatever. So that, that's an option that's there. Personally, I'd rather just wear an arm board type pouch that you can just take on and off really easily because this you'll have to thread on. Having basically PALS attachment on clothing, I really hate. I think it's completely over the top for any sort of tactical apparel but there we go it's it's in fairness when i looked at it online i thought it was going to be terrible because it's nyko it's actually not as bad as i was uh, as i was expecting it's fairly slim and it's quite light inside the arm pockets you got a nice elastic retention for whatever the hell you want to store in there ykk zips webbing pull tabs the loop they use on the uf pro is a bit weird it's not it's not like the stuff most companies use it looks like a bit of an old carpet tile but it works you know stuff attaches to it what more do you want one big change is under the arms here it's got this really nice fabric which off the top of my head is a blend of like polyester and merino wool which sounds weird but the great thing about merino is it it stays fresh smelling for longer and polyester obviously wicks sweat and wool is also good at dealing with moisture and etc so they've got this there problem was with the gem one it was notorious for pilling and ripping and just not being very abrasion resistant and holding up so they've still got the same fabric under the arms on the gen 2 but over the top of it there's like something like a velocity systems boss rugby shirt type fabric so there's just a, a perforated 100 percent nylon mesh so that's going to take the abrasive uh, elements of slings or plate carriers or whatever or whatever the hell you're doing but you've still got that really good sweat wicking antimicrobial fabric under the arms where you need it another thing i'm not a huge fan of is they've added these pull tabs just above the zip on the upper arm pocket here on the gen 2. now when you're actually wearing the shirt this is going to sound weird but as far as i can gather these are for biting I'm going to try and demonstrate. This is going to look weird. So essentially, if you imagine you've got the shirt on, sometimes with some types of garments, when you try and pull the zip down, obviously it's worked now, but sometimes it'll not work for you. And you need to put tension up the other way on the fabric. But obviously you can't grip it with that same hand and pull it down. It doesn't really work. Uh, so I think the idea is you, you grab it with your teeth and pull it down like that. I think that's the intention. Um, obviously this is a Slovenian brand. I'm guessing they put in a lot of 
concessions to cold weather and thick gloves and hands that aren't very dexterous anymore because of the cold, etc. I'm not 100%. Uh, they, they sort of just dangle there. I'll probably cut these off, to be honest. I find them a bit of an annoyance. I don't think they're really necessary, but it's, it's always easier to cut something off than it is to sew something on. So you can't really knock it in that sense. You've got a garage for the zip. As you can see, the collar's lined with the t-shirt material. The zip is also backed with Nyko, so the metal coils are not against his skin, which is good. There's big pockets made of the nylon mesh on the inside, which hold these really thick synthetic spacer mesh pads on the shoulders, which are removable. So it's, it's, it's a cool option, I have to say. Um, it, that can benefit you in terms of the weight of armor and backpacks bearing down on your shoulders. Another difference between the Gen 1 and 2, on the 1, the back of the arm pocket there, just note that's plain. Then on the 2, what they've done is added a zip, same on each side. You pull that down, and there's more of the 100% nylon perforated mesh just there, so that acts as ventilation. It's a plus and a minus having that feature. It adds a bit more bulk, adds a little bit more weight, and all these little things add up to be more weight, especially if you're carrying things or you're humping kit miles and miles, but that's there if you want it. The actual upper arm pockets are pleated at the bottom and a little slightly at the back. So you've got some billows there for expansion. They've got drainage grommets underneath them, all the good stuff like that. Mirrored between the left and right, no, no different features. Nothing really to show you on the back, apart from uh, perhaps the elbow pad pockets, I suppose. You see these have got a pleat or a billow to them as well for expansion. Velcro access at the top, which is good instead of the bottom, and that'll take probably most field type elbow pads down in there. Velcro cuff adjustment. And you got a sort of a wide expansion piece sewn in there so that can really open up if you so desire to really get the airflow going. They come in quite a lot of different fabrics depending on which color you buy. So if you do look at one of these, scroll right to the bottom of the UF Pro page and check the color against what the fabrics are. For example, the, the five color Flecton, most of that fabric is, well, all of it that I know of, is made for the German military in a, a sort of weird poly cotton blend that, that percentage-wise no one else uses. So the Flecton versions of these will come in that fabric. Multicam and Pencot Green Zone, 50-50 Nyko, winner. A lot of the other colors, the, the RAL 7013 brown gray stuff, their gray that they added recently, pretty much most of the other colors will be 60, 40 or 70, 30 poly cotton um, off, off the top of my head again. I think the Nyko stuff is priced slightly higher, so you get the poly cotton ones a bit cheaper. Something to bear in mind. In this case, I'd make a bit of an exception in that I would probably put up with the slightly lesser quality uh, overall sleeve fabric to gain the torso fabric and, and what you get out of the arms. Stitching's really good. Uh, I won't go massive into details on that. You can see like just on the torso there, you've got separate panels, flat locks, you've got pretty high stitch per inch count, uh, bar tacks in the corners of the elbow pockets where you'd want them, where you want reinforcements. It's generally pretty high end there in terms of uh, the stitching and it's all straight and good. Um, pricing is around 80 to 100 euros at the time of filming. It's going to depend on where you get them. I picked this one, particular one up from Polinar Tactical because they happened to have a sale on where they were doing free shipping. I thought they were just a YouTube channel. It turns out they have a shop and they have lots of uh, UF Pro gear. It is a brand I would consider you look at. They are very European styled versus Cry's and uh, Patagonia, etc. Definitely some different designs, things that you might not be used to if you're used to American kit. But I definitely look it over and if you're using a combat shirt for a sort of hobby usage for law enforcement, you know, these come in black and stuff like that. Ideal. If you're not going to get blown up, if you're not going to get RPG shot at you, IEDs blowing your vehicles up, that would melt this fabric in an instant and, you know, the trauma to your skin from that would be massive. Uh, but any environment where you're not expecting giant flash flame hazards, really, really nice materials go in there. Design-wise, obviously, the labels are still attached, so as you can tell, I haven't actually worn these yet. I'm purely talking a design material selection perspective, but I'm sure there are other reviews out there, people who've worn them a long time. There's lots of other uh, clothing UF Pro do that looks really good. Something to add to your potential list, I would say. Appreciate you coming by the channel, everyone. Appreciate all those thumbs up and everyone who's subscribed over the years. 
Uh, I know some of you have been following a long time. Social media links are down in the description. Please do check those out. Drop a follow. That's also appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching the video today. I'll see you next time.